All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck in a Garden. <laughs> I'm stuck with you guys, so we're always smiling. Today, we're back in the garden again. Um, you don't mind my the same shirt, like, uh, I need to go get some clothes in Manhattan pretty soon. But, um, yeah, we are here to just check on the hive, not really go inside, but just to look to make sure that everything is okay. And, um, yeah, I got the new lens adapter thing and the new lens, so I'm gonna test that out as well to see how good it is and just enjoy today's day like yesterday it was raining so much like it was a lot of rain there was lightning beautiful day out i'm happy all right so you see how calm these bees are like we pretty much have no protective gear on and we can be here which is really cool um what are the the the, the queen species you have again um, italian italian this one is italian that's carnelian and that's a sasprata sasprata okay I believe in Jamaica, like ours is an Italian strain or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, but there are a few dead bees at the front, and we'll try to figure out what that is. Yo, low key is a super nice day out, but like we are trying to figure out like what's happening, man. Like I can tell you, if you're a beekeeper and you're watching this video, you know, like. When you're having issues with like your bees, it's never quite like a straightforward answer all the time. Cause it could be like several different situations. So yeah, but I gotta say it's a beautiful day out. Like an inch or so it grew by? Yeah, more. It grew like the two, two and a half inches. Maybe. Wow. All right, so you guys can see like I did a few shots with the with the 50 milliliter lens. And for me, it's probably not a 50 milliliter. Well, it's not probably. It's not a 50 milliliter lens for me anymore. It's maybe like about a 70 because I have to put an adapter onto this M modeled camera. So it makes it a little bit more zoomed in, more cropped in. So. Yeah, I did a few shots with that um, and I so far like I love that lens like I can get more detailed and stuff you know detailed images I'm not a photographer I don't know nothing about cinematography really I'm just learning the small parts as I go along bitter but you know you need your bitters so the dandelion is like you're gonna be making a salad with it yeah you can make salad you can make tea you can um I used to saute it and make a hash with it, like a, a really light potato hash that's delicious because it cut the potato cuts the bitterness yes, okay. of the leaf. Yeah. Well, isn't it like kind of like a weed? It is. It is. But so much of what we call a weed is like so 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 good for you, and it's also like important to know those plants <laughs> for like the apocalypse, for the zombie apocalypse, because <laughs> then you know you can always find something to eat. It's true. You know? That's legit. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so don't play, know your plan. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm gonna make a tea with. These are all medicinal plant tops. Uh, those are dandelion flowers. That is a yarrow flower. It's comfrey flower tops. There's some 
sage tops in here as well and I'm gonna boil this and make a nice like light flower healing flower spring tea is it beneficial yeah like, yeah All what are the are benefits really good actually um, anti-inflammatory um, uh, there's a lot of like gut healing properties um, mm -hmm. going on in these flowers um, the dandelion in particular is really good for your liver it's great liver support um, so yeah that's dope yeah <laughs> do you guys have um, solar panels what do they do um, so the yep the so, solar panels run the pump for our irrigation system that we built ourselves we youtubed and like totally figured out how to do it ourselves <laughs> yeah and um, they also there's an outlet in the back it runs our power tools you know so drills when we're you know repairing the beds or you know we're cutting wood building we also hold events here so it runs like PA system we charge our phones on the weekends you know, so, we're in here for long hours that's dope. so go so go sun go solar power so we just got into Sanguina's bakery which I hear is pretty good uh, this is So I got back home, as I said that vlog today was just about like kissing out the lens, um, looking at the bees really quick. I had that um, margarita pizza type of slice thing, really good, and the mocha coffee was good. Nothing extra special but good. Anyway guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video, hopefully I get to to um, edit these really quickly for you guys, and I'll see you next time. Remember to see things, love, nature, adaptation, and always remember, keep the link.